Recently, Amazon's facial recognition technology, Recognition, has been attracting quite some attention. And not necessarily the good kind. What's the hype about? One, two, three, four. Facial recognition technology is already being used to spot friends on Facebook and unlock your iPhone. It's been rolled out in airports, at cash registers and on home security systems. And its watchful eye may soon be inescapable. Even online trading giant Amazon has its own system, recognition. How does it work? What is it being used for? And why is the technology controversial? Let's take a look. In recent years, the use of facial recognition has become pretty commonplace, especially since tech companies such as Apple or Samsung introduced face unlock features for mobile devices. Here's a quick introduction to facial recognition. Facial or face recognition is a system which can identify a person from an image or video. It discerns where faces appear in an image or video and can even decode what attributes these faces have. Let's take Amazon's recognition as an example to expand from. The software can analyze attributes whether the eyes are closed or open, hair color, the visual geometry of a face and even assess a person's mood. To do that, recognition outlines faces with a tool called Bounding Box, which generates object notation numbers for the current image. These index the position of all of the important facial elements. When performing a face search, the technology simply compares the source image data with the scanned images. It then grades the similarity to each face in the image, ranging from a 0 to a 100% correlation. A few similar systems are already out there. The market is growing rapidly and the services on offer are growing ever more significant. The tech is of particular interest to enterprises that want to, for instance, search through or categorize millions of images. Or even for brands, to analyze how test subjects are responding emotionally to a new commercial. Even the White House is already making use of recognition in an application that lets users take a selfie and find which first lady they most closely resemble. All that aside, recognition is very interesting for parties wanting to use metadata in order to identify people, literally within seconds. In 2018, Amazon recognition's features were used by reporters who were covering the royal wedding in London. Several media companies had the software analyze TV images of the wedding party to quickly find out which celebrities were in them. While that's a rather unusual case, it does give you an impression of what the technology is capable of. Amazon's recognition is already being used by companies, organizations and even authorities in the USA. Aside from photo portal Pinterest and the navigation app here, the technology seems especially popular with the police department. The Washington County Police Station fed 300,000 photos of criminals into the system, which are now being used in their searches. Instead of two to three days, it now only takes a few minutes to identify a suspect from a photo or movie file. In addition, officers in the field have been supplied with an app that is linked to the new police database. So now, thanks to Amazon, police officers can compare images with possible suspects on the go. Amazon Recognition says that because they are only archiving the aforementioned bounding boxes, they have ensured that the company holds no information about a person's identity. Only data of the likelihood of one face matching another. So far so good. But once the service's customers hook the recognition tool up with their own data, a whole different story emerges. Also disconcerting, Amazon pitched its facial recognition system to U.S. Immigration and Custom Enforcement ICE in 2018. This move caused a lot of controversy because the software enables the ICE to monitor and target immigrants. The problem is there's nothing to prevent people from building up their own private databases and no one to check what they are using the system for. If Amazon has my data, any user of recognition with the technological know-how could track me down online. For example, if you ask me, that's downright terrifying. What do you think? Does this technology scare you or do you take a different view? Let us know in the comments. And if you have a digital topic you would like us to cover, let us know as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye. One, two, three.